Hey everyone, this is just a quick video to show you that I've updated the first two worksheets. So for the first two quests on interface and brushes, you'll see now that there's extra info and tips available on these worksheets. I've also made it an option where as you go through the objectives, you click on this layer down here and you can tick off each quest one by one. So as you go through, that'll make keeping your progress easier. And then when you're done, you get this nice screen. So I'm simply showing and hiding via the layers palette, clicking this eye. And there's some other handy tips here. So some extra tips that I didn't cover in the first video. So now if you open up this worksheet, which is available via the same link, you can see these extra handy tips for interface. Now moving on, we're going to look at how I've updated the brushes worksheet. So once again, you can keep track of your tasks using the quest log completed task ticks by showing the layers. Then when you're done, you'll get this nice screen here. I'll just show you some other cool stuff. So if we open our custom brush creation folder, which is a green emblem, it'll give you all these tips and go through what I showed in the video, as well as some extra tips here. So if you were to follow the worksheet, you would open the custom brush creation folder, go to brush mark layer, draw the brush mark that you want, control click the brush mark layer, edit, define brush preset, and that'll give you your brush. Another part that I updated, we can close that. Open the blending practice. You now have more things to practice here. So the example shown in the video of blending the purple and the blue. So to do that, we go to blending practice group, open it up, click on the painting layer. I'm just going to do a really rough example. So just holding old again with the brush tool. We've also got this apple you can practice on. So you can blend that and make it realistic. Once it's all blended, you can probably change some brushes and get a bit of texture on there. Make it look a bit more photoreal. Moving on, closing that blending practice, now opening the eraser practice group. Now the idea here is to um, practice the eraser and also use different brush tips to get different effects. So we click on the erase this layer, choose the eraser, and then we can erase different parts. The idea here is to choose the right eraser to get the right effect. So for this one, you probably want to choose a more um, airbrushy one. So make those clouds look a bit softer. You can make this look like terrain. So it's really just to play around with and get, get used to what the eraser does. Okay, moving on. The smudge practice. The smudge practice is using the same items from the eraser practice. So we choose the smudge tool. Click the smudge this layer so that we can actually affect this layer. And then we can smudge around. 
There's a bunch of these clouds around. And I'll choose a scattery brush. So, get some tool presets. That's, that's pretty cool, that almost looks like grass. Alright, and as shown before, you can go through and then complete the quest. And the last part of this one was to draw the boar. So you can see that in the demonstration of quest number two, weapons training. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'm working on the next video for um, learning uh, color. And it'll also be in the same format that I've created now with these worksheets. So there'll be plenty of things you can practice and work on. And most of all, you can get better at Photoshop, don't we all? And you know, um, you can start making serious money if you get good enough. It's a lot of fun. All right, so see you next video.